right, it's time now for Word of the Day, where we break down a financial term or concept for our very smart viewer, but just maybe not the financial expert. And today it is hard money, sometimes referred to as sound money. And why? Well, our guest is an advocate of it, for one. His gold money payment system is an example of hard money. And, of course, PIMCO's Bill Gross, in his note that we've been talking about, his investment outlook for January, he writes, referring to the modern fiat money system created after the breakdown of Bretton Woods in 1971, that unlike gold with its scarcity and hard money character, the new credit-based standard had no anger, dollar or otherwise. So what exactly does this mean? What is hard money? It is money that is backed by a hard, tangible, and lasting material so as to retain its relative value over time, thus acting as a reliable store of value. Now, Advocates of a gold standard or some other form of commodity-based hard currency point to the huge growth in debt and other liabilities as a direct consequence of having money that isn't tied to anything and whose value fluctuates with the whims of central bankers. This is, of course, fiat money. In a world of sound money, debts that cannot be repaid will not be repaid. And therefore, write-downs and bankruptcies must occur, and debts cannot simply be papered over through money printing and inflation. Because print too much of that fiat currency, and you could wind up with this. Hyperinflation, like Zimbabwe, where you have to have a $100 trillion note. Or you could end up like Weimar Germany, needing a wheelbarrow of currency, debased currency, in order to buy a loaf of bread. And it's not good for much more than, I don't know, building a paper pyramid. Now, in the battle between capital and credit, hard money is the weapon of choice for the saver. However, it is the kryptonite for the speculator, which is one reason why banks really hate it. And that is hard money.